convent what's up welcome to my channel am i tripping or not tarot yes g i have a little bit of time before uh my clients today so i'm like let me throw out a reading for the collective i'm up shit i'm moving shit uh it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood a beautiful day for a neighbor and shit anyway so look i wanted to do a uh I know it's Venus retrograde, so I'm going to do a no communication Venus retrograde reading for the collective. We'll see what's up. I don't know. That's why I got on gloves, G. I ain't really trying to touch the shit. You know what I'm saying? At least motherfuckers from my pet nest. Anyway. Um, so that's the reading. Um, I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle convent, but I didn't lay no cards down, G, especially on this shit. I don't know. Okay. Um, please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your sign nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in tarot land. Please take the time to check out the community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. I should probably uh, tell people to check the community board before I tell them to get the fuck on, huh? I think I'm going to switch that around. Anyway, thank you for all the uh, bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love you. Just a thought. Like, maybe I should have them browse the store and then tell them to get the fuck on instead of telling them to get the fuck on and then browse the store. You right. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. Thanks for whoever sent that idea my way. Uh, all right, convent. So, uh, I'm not using the flashcards. I'm using the shamanic medicine. Uh, I'll use the after tarot. I'll use my nips, my munchy cheese and some music for those that rock with me. Y'all know exactly what fucking cards I'm using or got a good idea. I'm dear. Okay. Uh, all right. No communication. Shit. What's popping? Oh shit. So yep. This collective message. Boop. Bones for casting came out first though. So this shit drop. Convent. You ain't talked to this motherfucker in it. I mean, shit. <laughs> the bones been picked clean. It's dry as fuck here. This is definitely for all signs here. The upper world, right? This is the upper world. So uh, since this separation, I feel like uh, for those where it's like literally like dry ass bone, these motherfucking artifacts and shit, uh, y'all have definitely uh, been on some ascension shit for sure with this upper world. All signs here. I'll still call some out if they come out, but this is definitely a collective message damn medicine will came out with the bells rock the bells hey somebody want to call after some healing here medicine will so yeah uh this no communication reading somebody wants to reach out to somebody uh convent i don't know if it's you want to reach out or someone else wants to reach out to you but some, let's just say this other person. Let's say you the person watching and this person wants to reach out to you. Because I said I ain't got fucking time. Right? So, yeah, this shit dry as fuck. You threw that shit the fuck back out. Ascending on some real gangsta shit. Heal from this shit. I feel like this person sent it. Now they want to rock the bells, basically, yo. Is it raw? Uh. Uh. Here go the tumbleweave and shit. I told y'all it's tumbleweave in somebody's uh, neighborhood. That's when weave just be rolling down the street. Like people take their weave out, it just fly by. But yeah. Somebody has a wavy brown hair here. Male or female. I'm hearing. It's uh shoulder length or long. That's for some of y'all, but I'm picking that up. All right, shit, yeah. Yeah, dust that motherfucker right the fuck on, didn't you, convent? Okay. Let's uh, get to the net. Oh, shit. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, too. And I shuffle really well. Lovers could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could be a Gemini, or this could be a divine counterpart, soulmate. I don't know. I just know that, uh... Shit. You don't hit my line no more. Oh, oh. You don't make it ring, 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 ring. I forgot. Uh, you know what song I heard before I did this reading was uh, Bruno Mars. That I should have bought you flowers. I don't know the rest of it, so I always go. And something, 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 something. But y'all know that song. That's the one I heard when I was shuffling. So 
One for bones for casting, please. Okay, we're flipped over. The temperance with the four of pentacles flipped over for bones for casting. Yeah, so uh, you were this person. Somebody's been holding back from reconciling, but somebody also been all fit knucked up and shit in regards to this separation here. I feel like they've been holding their emotions back and all kind of shit and kind of like on edge. This is for somebody. Sagittarius is out here for sure. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If it's a Sagittarius, this person's been wanting, or you Sagittarius, you've been uh, holding back from letting something go here. It's like it's been over or something, but it's, or this somebody in regards to you Sagittarius, it's been over, but they still holding some type of grudge and shit. Damn. Okay, that's for Sagittarius specifically, but collectively speaking, I feel like both of y'all really done held back from each other, and it's just to have some peace and shit, but it's that upper world, so with this temperance card is also my uh, spirit guide card and shit. Even your spirit guys, uh, fucking, they want, they like, you want, uh, wings of flats and shit, if y'all know about chicken and shit. Even your, uh, spirit guys clean the bones of them motherfuckers, whoever this person was. I feel like you were spiritually, uh, guided to hold back or have been from this person. Or this person has been spiritually guided to hold back from you. Um, a lot of shit came to me last night when I was thinking. Like, I was just, I don't know why they had me thinking about, like, karmic people. And karmic relationships and shit like making me go to fuck tardy and like dig in their mind. But when I thought about it, I'm like, uh, yeah, they minds really do match. If you think about it, if the person you want to be with is with someone and you really look at them too, they really, uh, their mind, like, cause they're, your person's vibing on a lower frequency. So technically it's like, uh, like they said, it's the karmic, but then to me, they made it out. Like it was like, uh, they're dumb divine or like dumb twin or something like that. Like, uh, I mean, acting dumb and playing dumb twin right but uh like they're just a like or something like that it's almost like they're showing you they let you see this person's flaws through the karmic and shit to show you that you deserve more so it's almost like uh almost like they let your person fuck up somebody else's life and shit so you can see really what type of person you was in love with g and then now that person can value you is what i'm being told kind of fucked up but Maybe that karmic had that shit coming. I don't know, but that's what they had told me last night. That's for somebody, G. That's for somebody. But a lot of y'all have been uh, divinely led to hold back from reaching out to somebody. And I feel like a lot of y'all have been surprised at the time, right? Look at the wheel and shit. Like, it just done passed. So I feel like a lot of y'all have just healed from this situation, you know? Something new is maybe tumbleweave is blowing in, a new motherfucker. I don't know. Y'all could be meeting new people, but I feel like someone wants to call somebody. But a lot of you guys have made peace with this situation here and this no communication. The ones I'm picking up on. Boom. The fool and justice card came out. Leaper gang gang. Uh, this is my, uh, I keep holding on. Right? Leaper gang, somebody holding on to you. Are you holding on to somebody, Leaper gang? Fuck. I mean, it's like holding, holding, holding. I wasted all, what do you say? I wasted all those years and wasted all those tears. Libra gang, this better not be you, cuz. This better not. I know I over, uh, overly exaggerated with the Simply Red shit, but that's basically how you did this shit. The fuck? Anyway, collectively speaking, uh, anybody that's, uh, I'm being told to put a warning message out. Anybody that's, uh, waiting to see something happen to someone, Waiting to see if someone gets their justice, you are holding that shit up. That's what they said. It's almost like uh, you're the one holding four pinnacles, this shit up from your spirit guys taking action or uh, I heard getting retribution. So uh, it's almost like, when is this person going to learn? When is this person going to see me for who they ain't? Because you keep waiting to see. It's like trying to watch a plant grow. Well, you just leave the shit alone. You know what I'm saying? And you come back and like, oh, shit, my fucking sprout then came out. It's like the longer you watch it, it doesn't happen. That's for somebody. I don't know. I feel like uh, since this separation, you guys, a lot of you guys have taken leaps and bounds towards things you would, you would never do. So some of y'all went places you'd never go, uh, quit jobs. It's like uh, you did something very uh, daring, they said. You know what I mean? It was almost it to balance out the scales in yourself. So it was like, uh, shit, I quit my job and started my own business. I totally moved out the state. They're telling me you guys did something drastic after this separation just to kind of like, uh, wow, I don't really want to compare it to that. 
pinch me if it's real. Let's just say that, y'all. Pinch me if this shit is real. It's like uh, almost inflicting pain on yourself, but it's not a painful thing. Whatever daring thing this is you did, it was like exciting, creative, or you blossomed in some type of way. It didn't, uh, nah, you wasn't on the pipe. You blossomed some type of way in regards to this separation from this person here, for sure. So if you didn't blossom in some type of way, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, or something and shit, you probably are the, I keep, you this motherfucker probably. But uh, for the ones who have it, you've definitely uh, conquered some fear uh, or something. You've become better at something is what they're telling me. It's like pinch me if it's real. It's like uh, turning your pain into profit, G, basically. Some of y'all didn't learn how to swim. Some of y'all lost a bunch of weight. Uh, they're telling me bungee jumping or skydiving or some shit. Like, I have to do something to feel the fucking adrenaline again. I know that fucking feeling where it's like, fuck it. That's why my dumb motherfuckers get tattoos on their face and shit. Because they don't know where to channel that energy. Like, why do you have fuck you tattooed on your eyelids? What the fuck? That type shit. You channel it another type of way, you know? That's what this is. Damn, okay. That's fucked up that they telling me to take... Okay. Put one on the damn medicine wheel. Please. Can I have that, please? Tell them what they want, Fred. Five of swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. This my, uh... Plan, plot, strategize. And we bomb first. We bomb first when we rise. So yeah, y'all heal from some fuckity fuck shit. Uh, convent. That's what this is. So uh, they're telling me these bones were put out for casting because whoever could have been a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius out here, uh, Libra out here, motherfucker. Um, the antelope. I don't know. I don't know nothing about no antelope. Where the buffalo roam? They said where the buffalo roam means something to somebody. I thought they said antelope. Maybe they do run there too. But where the buffalo roam, is that a song? I like to go home where the buffalo roam. I don't know what the hell they talking about. That's for some damn body. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Yeah, with the five of swords here. Uh, that's why y'all held back from this person. I feel like convent, whoever uh, you uh, kind of let the bones dry out on and shit just because you were spiritually led to and to go on to your own life and shit. Some of y'all are still holding on to resentment, but there are others that are holding on to this shit just because they want to see if this person gets karma. Some of them want to see just, uh, some of them are just holding on to you just because you the fucking shit, convent. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. But this person did you kind of dirty, G. This person kind of did you dirty and shit. There, this uh, card right here always reminds me of a thumbprint. So uh, they're making me feel like whoever this person is, convent, that was doing you dirty, they didn't believe you was a real motherfucker. You needed a thumb ID identification. Like, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't think you were real and authentic. But that's why I was telling you what they told me last night. This motherfucker wasn't real and authentic. So naturally, they would attract unreal and unauthentic people. So this person who went to this karmic, because they're telling me this person is with someone, they're supposed to be together. They're two inauthentic people. You know what I mean? Plastic people. Okay? That's what that shit is. That's why they went back. That's why your spirit guy held you back from this person. Now this person's holding on to you. So in some form of fashion, you uh, are actually healing this person, I guess, or helping this person. Because they're seeing what being authentic gets you and what being inauthentic gets you and shit. Mm-hmm. There is a, a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They up one minute, they down another, man. Somebody crying hard over somebody here. I don't know who this is, you or them, but it's an earth sign for sure. That motherfucker praying and crying for somebody. I don't know. Damn. There still is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini out there on some fuck shit. This is the Venus retrograde reading. So there could be an air sign out there on some fuck shit that does want to reach out to you, but it's for access to something with the fucking thumbprint. Or this you, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But uh, this is for access to something. Convent, period. This is the plant plot. Look, the one that hit no shit this evening. Believe me, we, yeah. I feel some jealousy out here. And it's supposed to be like a slash kind of bum fuck love reading this shit. I feel a little jealousy out here, Convent. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or you are one, my G. Figure out what side you go on in this shit. Puma, what's this fuck shit with the five of swords real quick? You're supposed to be it. Well, yeah, Venus retrograde. I see why you threw... I see why you threw them out. I do. Because this person, it looks like they still on fuck shit a little bit. 
or they just trying to figure out this person has been holding on to you so maybe this let me see let me not maybe shit let me may, may, maybe be having babies and shit up in this motherfucker so let me see because it could all be some bullshit you know it just could what's this shit here please Ooh, King of Swords reverse. Nah, they on some fuck shit, G. King of Swords came out reverse with this Five of Swords. Okay, so it's a lion dog face pony soldier. Shit, that's what the fuck this is. Five of Swords with the King of Swords is a lion dog face pony soldier, male or female. I don't give a fuck. I told you, if it's an air sign, person watching Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, this motherfucker won't access to some of your shit. I don't know. Or you won't access to somebody else's shit. If it's not an air sign, it's a mentally manipulative motherfucker out here, convent. It definitely could be a Libra out here on some fuck shit trying to uh, get access to somebody's money or somebody trying to get access to your money, Libra gang. Some shit like that. It's one or the other in regards to these air signs here. I, I do see that here. So hold your money tight, convent, period. Because I see people wanting to reconcile with people for strictly for cash flow here. Literally, just for money. So, I mean, it is Venus retrograde. Uh, Venus is Libra. Right? So that's what's ruling all this shit right now. This some motherfuckers holding on this shit. When I read up on this shit, because I always have to read up on some shit before I do readings like this with retrogrades, because I don't know shit about planets, stars, moon, quasars, none of that shit. I tell y'all all the time, I ain't no fucking astrologer. But when I read up on this shit, Venus is, uh, you know, rules beauty and, uh, you know what I mean? Just whatever the fuck the shit said. Y'all know love and all that. It's kind of reversing and shit. So specifically for Libra gang gang, but for the convent, uh, period. I feel like a lot of y'all are unattracted or not attracted to people that you were once attracted to. Let me know if I'm wrong, but that's what the fuck they're saying. It feels like people are holding on to you and now somebody a little butt hurt and shit and they willing to say whatever, do whatever to get back around you and shit. It feel like, mm, let me shut up. <laughs> let me shut up. That looked like a masculine energy, the lion dog face pony soldier. It came out king of swords, don't have to be, but that's the first court card out here. So it feels like mostly a masculine energy. It does not have to be a man, but it's damn show a masculine. Give me another one. Uh, give me one on the bells. Rock them. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, hell to, to the no, no, to the no, no. Why the fuck, y'all, did the seven of swords pop out? It fell on the floor, so I can't take it. Yeah, lion dog face pony soldier. Ain't the what the fuck I said? You left this person or this. Actually, I take that back. This person left you, convent. They telling me this person left you. Now, either you weren't really with this person and this person had a decision and went somewhere else. That's why I told you him and the karmic got the same or she got the same fucking IQ. So you can't get mad at two second graders. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to play with each other. You fourth grader, fifth grader, uh, motherfucker, right? You can't get mad at them for the level of consciousness that they're on. Basically is what they're telling me. This person is exactly where, exactly where they needed to be. So this person was technically re your, the rejection was your protection. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh, some real shit. A lot of y'all know that. That's why you were able to heal from this shit. Those that resonate with this message. But yeah, this I feel like this person left you. King of Swords with the Five of Swords is Six of Swords. That motherfucker dipped the fuck out. But it's because they knew they couldn't pull one over on you. Look, Seven of Swords walking right in. Didn't, not only that, right? Did they know that they couldn't pull one over on you and shit? It was too hard, matey. It just was. But they kept looking back and shit. It's almost like a... Yeah, one up in the motherfucker. I don't, that's why I said I feel like they thought you were inauthentic or like a sucker motherfucker. I don't know. Yeah, I'm light-skinned, but I'm still a dark ninja. Yeah, I don't know what that got to do with anything, but maybe some of y'all judge for your color or some shit. They think you are your gender. I don't know. Somebody thought you was a sucker clone, though. Little did this motherfucker know, number one, they were setting themselves up wherever they went, which is wherever the fuck they were going to go fuck somebody else over. But shit, shit got called out on this motherfucker. Rock the bells. Somebody got exposed or will be during this Venus retrograde here, y'all. About some fuck shit they doing. And I don't feel like it's with you because this person dipped out on you. You threw bones out for casting. I feel like this these swords over here is a whole different energy. Either you are an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or this is in regards to one. Or this is a, a mentally uh, touched motherfucker, right? Or they're mentally manipulative for money. This is somebody that... uh. Damn, yeah, don't call us. Don't call us. This is somebody that uh doesn't believe in helping others. They don't give to other people, convent. Like uh when they get money, they hoard it. They store it up. Mine, 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 mine,
Even though they say you can't take none of this shit with you when you die and shit, right? Spirit guy trying to tell him and shit. You gonna die, motherfucker. Bones for casting. Why you holding on to money and shit? This a money hungry person. This is somebody that's always uh wanting to get back at people for any uh wrongdoings or anything like that, but not like high vibing though. Like they fuck people over. This your person. Now they holding on to your ass, but I feel like this person uh make sure that they they want people to like know that they fucked them over. Like, so basically what I'm saying is convict, this person could have left you like, ha ha, I'm going over here, boop, boop, boop. And then now they butt hurt and shit because that seven of swords came out. You know what I mean? It's like they tried to show you, that means yeah, they tried to fire marshal bill your ass and shit. But you can't do that to no motherfucking light being high vibing fucking person number one they don't give a fuck number two it's almost like you fucked yourself dog face lying pony soldier however whatever the fuck uh uncle joe biden be saying lying dog face pony soldier but yeah this person dipped down on you g but they were supposed to that seven of swords came right the fuck out on the floor trash basura basura one on the bells damn this one fell on the floor too five of cups reverse yeah, you didn't get no fucks about it, too. I told you. I felt you were like, uh, where the bag at? Back to the bizzle. Back to the bizzle. Shit, I don't get no fucks about this shit. I feel like uh, this could be a new person, convent, or this could be somebody from your past. But I'm picking up uh, if this is uh, somebody from your past and shit. This happened a long ass time ago. If this is somebody new, convent, that's why you don't give a fuck, G. You like, who? You turned into an owl on that motherfucker. Who? 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 It's almost like a, they're telling me to tell you, be prepared for people to underestimate you just because you still look like everybody else. Damn, that's deep. Like, real shit. One on the bells. You still got arms, legs. You still got to go to the store. To, like, them motherfuckers don't know. Shit. They didn't know the Messiah neither. Not saying you Jesus and shit, but I'm just saying, like, motherfuckers don't recognize real all the time. Real recognize real. It don't say everybody recognize real. This motherfucker didn't recognize real because they was a fake ass motherfucker. I'm going to keep it a stack. Look, now they ate the cups then came out reverse. This person want to come back to your ass, G. <sighs> Lord, I'm gonna speak, Lord. Yeah, it could be a water sign. It could be a water sign wanting to come back to you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could be a water sign wanting to return to someone here. But somebody uh, wants to make a call, though, is what I'm hearing here. I'm seeing other shit in here, but I'm going to stick to the reading that we're talking about. Because this is a gang of messages coming through. And I know I should probably put them out. They're not bad or nothing. But it's just, you know, my shit be random. Like, what? Motherfuckers, look, motherfuckers about to come up, gang. That's all I'm going to say to y'all. Like, on some real shit. Whole squad on that real shit. It's motherfuckers out here. Air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius. Uh, For sure, for sure. I see. I mean, all signs are out here, period. But I mean, that's just from the signs I'm seeing. But with the upper world, that's why I said collective for real. I see some real shit like that. Uh, I see <clears throat> blessings coming to you. I guess this is relevant. I see blessings coming to, to those who have separated themselves from situations like this, who uh, know that it's OK to walk away from things that you really want, but that don't serve your highest good. A lot of y'all are being rewarded for this shit, G, like uh, things that you would not ever imagine to happen to you. You never know what could happen to you. You never know. I'm telling you, G. But yeah, this motherfucker, this back to the shits, though, right? This, uh, I don't like the fact that this King of Swords wants to come back or ring your line and shit like Kalani and shit with fucking Five of Swords bullshit and, and, and him or she, he or she lying. I'm telling you, it's to gain access, y'all. Be careful. Yo, spirit guys done already warned you about this motherfucker trying to hold you back from him. It's bones for casting. Be aware, this feel like a Mercury retrograde, but it's just all to do with love. So, <clears throat> Again, like the Bible says, your latter days will always be greater than your former days. That's why they showing you this motherfucker coming back on that bullshit, y'all. I'm telling you. That's why. That's why. That's why. Wow. Y'all done came, this, this group I'm talking to, y'all done came up on some shit is what this is. Yeah. This person can't get access to you too. Some of y'all have blocked this person. This person is upset. This person is a uh, possibly could be talking down on your name a little bit. If you a Libra, gang, gang, there's an air sign talking down on your motherfucking name, but on your dick at the same time, cuz real shit. I'm just saying, though. 
Gang, gang, gang. If you're a Sagittarius, there is somebody holding on to you and shit and holding on to somebody else, like a marriage or a relationship. But them motherfuckers arguing and lying to each other. And this, that shit dumb as fuck. That's why I told you that I, they IQs match right now, though. So you can't get mad at them. Second greed. Second. Water signs, y'all might just get an unexpected call from somebody that you don't necessarily want to talk to. For sure. This would be a... This somebody that call your ass a lot. They don't stop calling. Or you water sign don't stop. This is a stalker. This is either you water sign or somebody else is stalking. Cancer square. They call back to back to back to back to back to back. Send text and shit. That's this motherfucker. They, I don't know, man. Who y'all, man, moving on. I said I ain't got time. Woo! And you wanted to do this today, huh, nine? I just wanted to give the people something to do. Okay. Bones for casting with the temperance and the four of pinnacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you just done with a motherfucker. I feel like even if you do want to reconcile, it might have been so much time in between. You like, meh, meh. God's plan. High honor came out. That's what's up. On top of the temperance and the four of pinnacles. I told you your higher self, the most high told y'all to hold back from this person. Four of pinnacles and hold your money, G. Throw that motherfucker out for the wolves. I ain't trying to be rude, but I am. Shit, if this motherfucker coming to take from you, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't like that the Five of Swords is out here with the King of Swords reversed. So that's why I see why God and your spirit guys are holding you back and tell you to toss this motherfucker out like a fucking, uh, old wing dinner. Shit, that's why. Woo! Your spirit guys are definitely around. There's bones out here with spirit guides and God. They're definitely around. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit, it's, it's heavy, uh, uh, what they call it, supernatural activity going on during this Venus retrograde here. But I feel like because people coming back with bad intentions, convent, like you need extra protection. That's why I was telling y'all before, if we stay in alignment and shit and do what we got to do, it makes it easier for them to like keep the fuck shit away. Because you damn sure going to need it. I don't know who the fuck this is, y'all. We're on the four of pentacles real quick. This is some bullshit if I ever seen some. But thank you, God. Let me say thank you first for protecting the convent and the people up in it. But damn. Lovers told you, motherfucking soulmate, divine masculine counterpart. I don't know. It could be a motherfucking Gemini. I don't fucking know. If you're a Gemini, you're uh, holding back from uh, throwing something away. They said it's trash. I don't know what that is, but th they're saying it's trash. With the God card, the temperance, and bones for casting. They're like, you holding on to some dead shit, Gemini. I don't even know, man. That's why it's bones. It's decaying in your hands, they said. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Sagittarius, you are being also, uh, or this is in regards to you, Gemini. You or somebody else, shit. But Sagittarius, in regards to you, uh, some of y'all are still holding on to a divine counterpart or some lover and shit that you really need to let go of and shit. It's probably your divine counterpart. But that lesson and that season is over, they said. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, same thing for y'all. It's a divine count. This, this is mostly for divine counterparts here or soulmates or some shit. But this motherfucker wants your bread, G. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? They want to, first, they, it looked like they wanted to destroy you with shit or teach you a lesson. So they waited to see if you were going to. I don't know, be taught, motherfucker, but you didn't. You was like, oh, well, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? All right, then, motherfucker, right? Some of y'all still held on to this person, I feel like energetically, but you didn't physically. That's why there's no wands. So fire signs, this is in regards to you too. It's just that physically everybody kind of detached. Like, I don't talk to this motherfucker. I don't fuck him. I don't see him or none of this shit. It's this energy here and spiritually, right? So that's what's going on here. So this person holding on to your ass too, but it was fin it's like a draining you, G. One on the full. Or they want to, shit. Concern. I told you, this is my God's glory car here. This is uh, also them thinking about your ass heavy. Libra, either you or somebody in regards to you is like trying to manifest. They simply hogging, hogging, oh, basically. In regards to all signs, I feel like this person wanted to see you fail or chase them or some shit. And, like they thought you was going to try to like save the relationship or hold on to them. And you said, fuck that. 
So now this person is trying to manifest you back. And I feel, I feel like uh, them trying to manifest you back is past tense, y'all. I feel like they tried it the high vibing way, but their IQ is still in fucktardia. So now they're used, they're more comfortable trying to get at you like this. Five of swords, king of swords, reverse. It was too hard for them to like elevate upper world. You know what I'm saying? Future. You know what I'm saying? Ascend and shit and try to get you back a balanced way, the just way, the fair and just way. It's not working. It take too much uh, work, matey. So they back to their old tricks, G. Shit. What I'm seeing. One on the justice. Wow. I'm a firm believer, though, that uh, can't nothing in the past be good for you. If in the Bible, whatchamacallit, Lot's wife, Sarah, turned into salt, right? Because they told her not to look back and shit at Sodom and Gomorrah and shit when she was leaving. Uh, that goes, that applies in so many ways. You know what I mean? Like, looking back to some shit, it ain't no good. That motherfucker was destroyed for a reason. Same thing with the bones for casting. You know what I mean? It's the same shit, y'all. Don't, I'm, I'm not, y'all can do what the fuck you want, okay? It ain't, it ain't my motherfucking life. It's not, right? Go ahead and live your life. Hey, 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 hey. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just telling you, somebody here is uh was trying to get you the right way. First, they wanted to teach you a lesson, right? They tried to shove something in your face like, nah, 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 right? That shit didn't work. Then they're like, okay, let me try this whole divine shit, right? Then that didn't work and shit. They back to their old tricks, G. <laughs> now they want to teach you another lesson. I feel like this person butt hurt. One on the justice card. Yeah. I'll always come back to you. Yeah. That's my Ronald Isley card, Voyage to Atlantis. So we'll say our last goodbye. And we'll make it this time. Oh, oh, oh set sail with me. Hey. To a paradise, I'll be on the sea. Right? That's what this person's saying. You like, motherfucker, where you get the tickets, cuz? Where, 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 who boat is it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I gotta know. Like, what you moving? Dope on this motherfucker? Why you so nice? I feel like you got a right. Concern. You got a right. Why is this person back? This my voice. To, I'll always come back to you. Yeah. You got a right to be asking questions, convent, about this here person. <laughs> Y'all dreams are about to come true. You are getting justice. It almost feels like uh, karma's being restored, good karma and bad. And this person feels like maybe their bad karma can be fixed by coming to come do some shit or fuck with you. But that ain't how this shit work, motherfucker. This ain't no, uh, this ain't Nordstrom, motherfucker. You can't return shit without no fucking receipt, number one, right? And number two, we don't take returns. Shit. That's what this has said. What's this person lying about? Five of Swords, King of Swords, Reverse. So this a Lion Dog Face Pony Soldier for sure. With the thumbprint. Y'all watch all the uh, identities and uh, air signs for sure. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody trying to break up in y'all shit. Or you trying to break up and hack up in somebody else's shit. I don't know. What the fuck going on? Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me, spirit guides. Uh, it's not even what y'all thought, but it's not about changing my passwords. I know what y'all thought. Like, really? I mean, you can, but that ain't what they told me for those who just thought that they knew what I was thinking. You don't. Sudden wealth came out, but I told you change your shit. <laughs> I'm telling you change your shit. Air signs for sure. Somebody trying to get your money or you trying to get up in somebody else's shit or something of some value. Be careful out there. This is a Venus retrograde reading. Now, for those, uh, that's just on some side shit, but remember what I asked, what's this person's intentions? What's up with this person calling you, coming back, ringing your line, Kalani and shit? They want some fucking coin, shit. What the fuck? What you think it's about? Shit. Your dreams coming true and shit, convent? That's what this person want. Access. I told you. Shit. Face ID, all that shit, bitch. What's popping, basically? But I feel like they, uh, they just a liar though, man. I, this person is a fucking liar. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a liar. Hold on, the King of Swords reverse. <laughs> I'm sure my neighbor's like, damn, this bitch screaming early now. Yeah, man. Yeah, they coming to work your ass. Work, work, work. And number one, this person, you have no job, man. Tommy ain't got no job, man. King of Swords uh, reverse with the damn uh, occupation. There are some air signs out there lying about what they do and what they got. Gang, gang. If you were dealing with an air sign person watching... Uh, or you are an air sign. I don't know. Somebody in regards to Libra, Aquarius, Gemini lying about some money that they have. And they don't have it. They don't have a job. They lie about where they work. They lie about the money they make. Uh, I don't know. 
Maybe they're trying to get access to some money or get access to something so they can uh, present themselves a certain way to you in regards to an air sign. In regards to this motherfucker period convent, yeah, this motherfucker trying to work you for that dough, basically. They gonna lie they at, what's the, what's the work they trying to put in? Cause the sea candy lady with the buff ass arm, she do put in work, but I don't like it with the king of swords reversed. This a, a motherfucker that just keep building on lies and shit. Like, oh wow. So you, you, you just gonna sit in my face and lie. They like, yep. Like, oh, house. Yeah, motherfucker trying to move in. Shit, look, convent. That's my four of wands card too. So fire signs. Be careful uh, if you're dealing with an air sign, that person is definitely lying, coming back to get your fucking money, moving your home or something. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, yay, yay. Uh, air signs, if you're dealing with a uh, fire sign, you lying. <laughs> you be lying to this motherfucker for sure. If you are dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and you are a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you be lying to this motherfucker. You want their money, G. Say what you want, oh well. That's what they say. Don't have to be a lover. It could be a dad, some type of father figure, somebody lying about what they need the money for here mm -hmm. but yeah somebody trying to it could be a divine counterpart like i said trying to come back and work y'all some of y'all or a soulmate or some shit some of y'all it could be both i just heard some of y'all y'all could have a soulmate and a divine counterpart and shit and both of them want you uh want you want to do the same thing they want you for something, access to something. I mean, if you think about a convent, like I tell my clients all the time, they're like, I don't uh, really know what to do. Like, it's kind of weird. I don't know who to trust. Everybody's like coming at me at the same time. What's going on? Is it something? And I'm like, you are a fucking hot commodity, bitch. You done raised your fucking vibe. Motherfucker's supposed to be on your dick. They are. So I ain't surprised if you're divine masculine or divine feminine or some soulmate or a past ex-lover, whatever the fuck, want to come back. But they all coming back because they want access to something and they're fucking lying about something. Now, they may not be a complete lying dog face pony soldier, but they damn sure lying about what the fucking, uh, what they do, what they've been doing with their life. They damn sure lying about that shit. And they damn sure lying about what they want with you. It's only one cup out here, which is the eight of cups reverse. Just coming back to... <laughs> fucking ring bells and shit. Like when I told y'all I took that shit off my dog's neck. You know what I'm saying? He can't wear bells and tags. That shit's annoying. This is a fucking stalker here. Eight of Cups. They already been watching you, Convent. Really. This they been planning this shit. Told you. They want to come back. Marriage card. Mm. I would not be tripped, Ben, if this person did not have this Five of Swords and this King of Swords reversed up here, y'all. I would not. I'd be like, dang, this is a good reading. Even though I don't believe in nothing from your past can benefit you because you grow outgrown that shit. That's like still trying to wear toddler clothes and you 30 fucking seven. At the age of 37. Right? Come on, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you was cute in the outfit. It was, yeah. You got a picture. Yeah, all that shit. Keep moving. That's what this is. Somebody wants to return to you because you kept moving. So if this, that's how you know this person hasn't ascended because if your latter days are greater than your former days, this person wants to come back to you, right? And I'm not saying y'all don't have to, that there won't be some reunions and shit like this, but I'm talking about specifically for this person that's coming back for your, your coin, right? Uh, this person has not learned or else they would try to move forward and really get the job in the home that they claim they fucking have and all this other shit. It makes me feel like uh, somebody's trying to mold themselves to be your perfect person now. Like they can uh, shape shift. It's a shape shifter, y'all. Basically, be aware of the shape shifter species. Basically, yeah, they showing me a snake, reptiles and shit. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. They told me to look at this. Ooh. I just blew bubbles in my coffee. They just told me to uh, look at this card with this uh, fingerprint on it real quick. Mm. The electric eel. The electric eel. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I know you can't. I know it's hard to catch them. I know you have to be very careful. I've seen them do it on Naked and Afraid and they always get shocked and shit. So maybe it's a source of food or something. Maybe this person has something good about them, but they'll electrocute your motherfucking ass. You better be careful. That came out with your five of swords and your sudden wealth. So the electric eel also makes me feel like uh, ATMs, passwords, passcodes, all that shit too. Somebody trying to hack up in your shit. Uh, it's an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or... Uh, a Libra Aquarius Gemini is trying to hack up in your shit, Convent. Don't have to be a 
love her here, but it feel like it. That's the reading we doing. And that marriage cards, and it's a lover trying to hack in somebody's shit. I don't know if they trying to see where their money coming from. Find out. Some of them trying to find out where you live. Even if it's not an air sign, there's someone here trying to find out where somebody lives, G. Uh, where they make their money, how they do what they do. Uh, this a motherfucking stalker, man. This a motherfucking stalker, man. Wow. Pulling on the bones for casting. High honor, temperature, four pinnacles, and the lovers. Who the fuck? Little child. It fell on the floor. Yeah, this is a childish ass motherfucker. Told you. That's why God told you to throw this motherfucker. Get rid of him. Some of you guys could have children with this person and it's almost like they come back like super late where it's like you were kind of irrelevant and shit. You know what I mean? Like, why are you here? So what are you saying, Todd? That type shit. Like, damn. Yeah. Too short, motherfucker. Yeah. Success in love came out. On top of the bones for casting high honor, temperance, and uh, four pinnacles. You and this person were supposed to end up together, though, convent, is what this is telling me. But shit, plot twist, God said, you know, he could switch up anytime he want to with the high honor and the temperance card and tell you, ah, never mind. Shit, they was tripping. Shit. It's like going to uh, your favorite restaurant in the drive through or not your favorite because your favorite restaurant ain't got no drive through I'm pretty sure. Let's just say you go to a drive through and shit in the line long. You're like, fuck it, I ain't about to wait on that shit. I'm going to figure out something else to eat. That's basically how God uh, did your contract with this person. Like, shit, I ain't, she ain't got time to be, or he ain't got time to be waiting on this shit. I, you wanted chicken? How about fish, motherfucker? Like, yeah, I like fish, guy. Yeah, I knew you would. You know what I'm saying? I know you, I made you. I'm going to bring you something even better. And they be like, damn, okay. That's basically what had happened. That's what's going on here. So be aware of this person, y'all. It, it was supposed to go down it, between you and this person, for sure. It feels more so like your divine counterpart here. But again, doesn't have to be. Could be a soulmate here. Either way, uh, they telling you, or if it's a, I'll put it to you this way. If it's a, a Gemini, uh, uh, if, or if you are Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you damn sure was supposed to be uh, throwing something away or someone was supposed to be getting rid of you or both. Gee, one or the other hope and big water came out on top of the, uh, upper world, the full concern, justice and the distant horizons. Pisces, here you go here. Oh, that's my Pisces card. I told you somebody, Carl Thomas. I'm emotional and I can't let go. Libra, I'm telling you. You seem to hurt hey, me purposely. I didn't understand it. Oh, girl, why me? Yeah, Carl Thomas. He broke my friend toenail. Well, I ain't really her friend no more, but... <clears throat> He stroke broke her toenail up in the club. She cussed that motherfucker out. Carl Thomas or no Carl Thomas. She went off on that motherfucker. We don't be giving no fucks out. Even up in the fucking club. Bitch, you broke my motherfucking toenail. What you gonna do about it, Carl? I can't remember if he bought her a drink or something. He did something to, to the best he could. Shout out to the House of Blues and Carl Thomas and her toenail. Hope and big water on top of the concern card with the fool. Pisces, some of y'all are still holding on to some relationship from the past as well. Or someone is holding on to you. Pisces, be careful of your thoughts right now because uh, somebody you thinking from the past that you were with possibly could have been married to, been with for a long time, you will bring that motherfucker right up to your doorstep. Your shit is very strong right now, Pisces. Gemini moon, they said, as well. Gemini moon? I don't know, maybe your moon and Gemini person watching? Mm -hmm. Same thing for you. <clears throat> Somebody's very emotional over you, convent, or you, this person. Somebody holding on like a mother. I'm telling you, it's this person. Or it's you. Uh, it's like they up and this person got emotional problems right now. They go from thinking real hard to conniving ass thoughts to being emotional. Then they want to marry you. I think I want to marry you. Yeah, oh, Bruno Mars ass motherfucker. Just weird, yeah. Uh, women are from Venus. Men are, men are from Mars. Women are from Venus is what I just heard. Yeah. So Venus retrograde. So this is a, uh, I don't know. That's what I heard. Men are from Mars. Women are, women are from Venus. So this has to be in regards to a masculine energy here with this King of Swords reversed. Damn. 
somebody's having fun. <laughs> What's your fantasy? Yeah, they, they, this person, oh. they go from, <clears throat> that's why God telling you to hold back from this person convent. They emotions literally go from trying to manifest you, praying for you, right? Jacking off to your ass, uh, thinking about marrying you, then trying to figure out how to get access to some of your personal information, wanting to know who you fucking with. Uh, they, they, they turn conniving. So by the time they hit your line, Kalani, with the bells and shit, I, I, I don't even feel comfortable telling you how this person gonna approach you because they done flipped like three times in this motherfucker. Gang, gang, eight of cups with the marriage card. They done flipped three times, G. No, 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 not in my house with the house car. I don't think you should even fuck with it. It's like uh, they're showing me the jack in the box thingy where you keep turning the thing on the side. You don't really know when it's going to pop out. That's why it scare you every single time. It's this motherfucker, man. Wish this motherfucker into the cornfield. I'm telling you. Wish this person into the cornfield. If it's a lover or not, friend, I don't know. One on the access card, five of swords, uh, sudden wealth. King of Swords reverse occupation sees candy lady buff ass arms house. Pleasant letter. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all getting that fucking money. Some of y'all just block this person and they trying to figure out how to reach out to you. You may get something in the mail or some shit. Some of this person is coming back to fuck with you because your stimulus came. Gang, gang. That's the because your shit came in the mail. Be aware of lovers coming back right when you get your stimulus, bitch. Real shit. This person is a, a scam artist I'm hearing for some of y'all. There is an air sign out there, man. I'm telling you, they, uh, I don't know if they scam people for money, male or female. I don't know. But this person is, uh, it's like they have their sights on you. Mm -hmm. Or they want to come to you because of some monetary, uh, gain or something like that. If it's not an air sign, this person is just that you would know this person because they're a fucking liar. They lie a lot. You've caught this person in a lie in regards to money. You might have caught this person going through your phone, your emails. This person has done something like that where you, uh, if it's not this person, uh, the other shit I said, the scammer and shit, it's one or the other. Pleasant letter. But this person, damn sure, they're going to come at you all sweet and shit. That's why I said I can't even tell you how this person, well, I can. Pleasant letter. But with the five of swords, this is like them saying, I've missed you so much. You know what I mean? I'm really sorry. And maybe they are and shit, but it's the intent behind it with the five of swords and the money. Would they say that shit if you wasn't where you was at right now, convent? If you were where you, uh, if you were, uh, who you were, let's say three years ago, would this person be sending you this motherfucking letter, G? You know what I'm saying? Let's say financially, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally three years ago, would this person be wanting to fuck with you and come back to you? Or is it, since you've been gone and ascended, now this person, they have to lie. They really do because they don't have nothing of value to offer you or say to you. The fact that this person still feels that they can approach you this way lets me know this person ain't fucking ascended, G. How the fuck they still think they can get over on a divine person? That's what I'm saying. This may not be your divine masculine. Maybe it's a karmic person that think they your divine masculine, divine feminine. I don't know. It could be that too. It's damn sure, a, a air, it's damn sure out here a, a lion Gemini and a lion ass Libra out here for sure. For sure, for sure. With the Libra and the, I mean, the Justice and the Lovers card out here. But what I'm getting is some of y'all, this is a karmic partner here. For some of y'all that could have been a soulmate. Or it's a divine masculine that never fucking ascended. You know what I mean? That's coming back out the fucking blue. And you're like, what the fuck are you doing here? So what are you saying, Todd type shit, right? This person ain't learned, convent, whoever this is. I feel a little insulted, to be honest with you. And maybe that's your energy I'm picking up on. Insult. Like, so whatever this, I told you this, whoever they been laid up with was a low IQ habit ass motherfucker for this person to try to come at you and try to be like, hey, stranger, hey, you, all this other bullshit and shit. And I think you pick up on that they want access to something that you have. Like there's some uh, fictitious intent behind this shit. That's why the fuck I feel insulted. Because they still think you, huh? yeah, you light-skinned, but you still a dark ninja, right? They, I mean, I don't know. They just feel like, I don't know. Maybe they feel like you won't do it to them or you feel different when it comes. I don't know, G. Motherfuckers need to stop uh, assuming around this bitch. One on Rock the Bells, Eight of Cups reversing the marriage. Whew. Receiving a gift. I told you that's why this motherfucker coming back. Shit, that Christmas. 
Christmas. Sagittarius, for sure, you out here then with that uh, Christmas tree card, for sure. Or December people, period. People born in December. This person wants to, uh, like I'm telling y'all, I would not have a problem with this shit if this five of swords, well, I would because of the whole latter day, former day thing. But aside from all that, if this five of swords and this king of swords wasn't up here reverse, I'd be like this person coming back to spend holidays and shit. You know what I mean? Decorate the tree, put tinsel, lights up and shit. They are, but it's so, it's like to your light. Yes, your tinsel is your lights. It's your Christmas tree. It's your house. It's your, you put the gifts under the motherfucker. It's like, uh, they're just coming to eat at your table, man, <laughs> basically, and act like they ain't. So this is somebody who could eventually uh, fall in love with you, but that ain't what the fuck they come in there for originally up in this bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. No wonder God telling you throw these motherfucking bones out. Yeah, shit. Don't even feed them to the motherfucking dog. Shit. They for casting and shit. Please protect me from these people I have cast out of my life, ancestors. Shit. Get on the damn bones and shit. Now, I'm starting to get upset because I feel like this person think you dumb, for real. This person uh, may try to send you a gift or something. I told you, look. Eric Clapton, the software guy, right? Brings in bagels, lots, cream cheese, donuts, all that shit for the office. Even after they fucked Eric over the day before, threatened to take his job, wrote him up, all that shit. I say Eric should skeet, skeet, skeet in the coffee and scrub his balls all over the fucking powder donuts. Just scrub them, right? But uh, God telling y'all not to do that shit. I see that here. That's why I had to put my shit out first before I said it. He said, don't do it. Which you ain't did it. You threw the bones out for casting. What's the point? I ain't gonna keep being nice to this motherfucker either and putting out olive branches neither. God told y'all to hold back. So this lets me know that you guys did extend an olive branch to this person. The fact, when Eric Clapton come out, he a nice person. He genuinely cares about people, even when they fuck him over. So he uh, wants to know if people are okay. This definitely could be... Uh, some of y'all could have sensed this person was in trouble. Look at this lady face on here. He's like, there, there, my love. So some of y'all could have sensed this person was in trouble or could sense right now this person is having financial difficulties and shit. This person's supposed to. <laughs> this person's supposed to. This person, if they come to you, remember you got the four of pentacles here and uh, they got the five of swords with the sudden wealth over there. It's almost like that's why they telling you, hold on to your shit because this motherfucker coming to take everything. They ain't acting like they coming to take shit, but they are. This is somebody you do not need to give anything to, convict. No donuts, no bagels, no nothing, nothing. Even if you're like, well, it don't mean shit to me. I feel like y'all were already like that. Well, don't, I mean, I just extended, I know, but stop extending yourself. The Bible says when you are, when the word is rejected and shit, like for the people that go around extending God's word or help or that divinity, that light, and it's rejected, you're supposed to clap the dust off your shoes and keep it fucking moving. That's what it says. It's always more people out there. There's other fish in the sea. Hey, girlfriend, better, better. Hey, how could you let him treat you so bad? Yeah, pebbles. Tell that motherfucker to kick rocks. He act like it's a boulder. It ain't a boulder, motherfucker. It's pebbles. Shit. Anyway. Kick them motherfuckers, though. That's what this is telling me to tell you. Damn, I wasn't expecting this. I see why I had to wear the gloves. <laughs> I don't want to touch this. <laughs> no. Bob Dylan reverse. Yeah. So this is throat chakra open here. So this person has thought about reaching out to you a few times. They just don't know what to say. Here. You were definitely open with this person though. Some of y'all got overly emotional with this person. Some of y'all tried to contact this person a couple of times after, let's say y'all separated and then you just stopped, G. You, I mean, shit, the, the light bulb came on. Like, well shit, motherfucker don't want this shit. I ain't gonna force feed a motherfucker at all. To, I ain't. That's right when you elevated, <clears throat> convent, upper world. That's right when you went all the way up. That's right when you went all the way up. Like, well shit, what the fuck I look like forcing a motherfucker to do some shit. What old girl saying, uh, Poetic justice, I ain't in the business of keeping no niggas that don't want to be kept. Gang, I ain't never forgot that shit since I saw that movie. I was like, man, that's a prolific line. Real shit. You know what I mean? And some of us still didn't abide by it. I was like, what? 13? I don't even know when that movie came out. Long ass time ago. But I never forgot that line. And it's true. That ain't your business. If you don't want to be kept, shit. 
and Keisha Cole talking about it ain't where he at, it's where he wanna be. Nah, bitch, it's kinda where he at too. Cause that's kinda that motherfucking mind frame and shit. Like, okay, well, if that ain't where he wanna be, why the fuck would he stay there? Like, mm, that's a dunny. So if they start shooting, he just gonna stand there, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, he wanna be in the car, wanna go get his piece of shit, but it's where he at. Fuck all that, bitch. Hesitation gets you killed. I don't give a fuck about where the fuck a motherfucker wanna be. What a motherfucker wanna do. That's this type of person here. I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. One on top of the damn medicine wheel. You definitely heal from this person, though. This person is in need of healing with this medicine wheel. Five of swords. Their main focus is still money. They still lie to get it. They still uh, do whatever they got to do to get it. They a slave to this shit. And if you have money or something valuable, convent, this person is a... Uh, lustful for it g right now but they will try to come some other kind of way hide your wives hide your kids basically is what they saying because they robbing everybody and shit smoky robinson came out reverse i'm gonna take it reverse too miracle like i took bob dylan uh yeah this i told you they tried first god's way right because this would have been upright a miracle praying, manifesting, doing the right thing that they need to do to come and get you. That shit too hard for this motherfucker. So now they back to their old ways. Five of swords. Play a plot, strategize, and we bomb first. I don't know. This person is like, I feel like uh, confident they, if you were to like lose something right now, this person would be happy. This person would like for you to succeed if they're with you, but if they're not, they want to see you lose everything. G, rewind that if you need to. But that's this person here. This, 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 I see why they bones for cash. This trash. Basura! It's fucking basura, man. This somebody who couldn't even wait on the most high, G. Because they think they got a genie and shit. You know what I mean? They all, That's why they own money fucked up. This person money fucked up. They go around in circles in regards to business. They go around in circles. This person could move from place to place to place in they home and shit. And they lie to motherfuckers about where they live, what they, all that shit. So they would definitely be coming back lying to you and shit. Wow. Something smoky about this motherfucker. Yeah, some of them smoking that shit. But uh, something uh, smoking mirrors and shit is what they said. Smoking with the smoky card. Mm -hmm. Rock the bells here with the Eight of Cups reverse marriage and the receiving a gift. They try to make me go to rehab, but I said no, 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 right? And this is also, I do you, I was trouble. Don't you know I'm no good? I told you. When Amy Winehouse come over, hide all your shit. And no disrespect to her, God rest your soul, mommy. But shit, you come to my house, we probably are gonna hide everything. We probably gonna put plastic on the couch and all that shit, bitch. I'm gonna keep it a stack. My grandma probably gonna make you eat outside. I'm gonna keep it so real. Like, nah, -uh. shit, I don't know where Amy been and the run around. Nah, that's what I'm saying. This person coming, I said, no disrespect, Amy, but that's what this car means. It's trash. You know what I mean? This is somebody I told you. They didn't ascend. They're not on the journey that they need to be on. I feel like you extended an olive branch to this person, which would be the rehab. Divine University. You could go here anytime you want and shit. This person trying to come back like they go to Divine You. They got a uniform, but they don't really go there, G. They trouble. <laughs> don't you know I'm no good? This is a return, Laverne. This, they said, she said, don't you know I'm no good? I told you, which means it's, she didn't say I'm telling you. I told you, which means you were told once before, the most high is out here with this uh, temperance card. This is somebody you've been wanting to stay away from already, convent, that's uh, coming towards you here. If it's a water sign, this motherfucker, or you are a water sign, be aware of somebody that's on drugs or drinks and shit. They coming back for, uh, to be like, uh, like, um replenished or almost you know like uh for those that have people in their family that have done drugs and you know when they come back you kind of clean them up and shit and they look good they look better they're coming they come in for the re-up and shit and then they gone again that's for somebody in regards to a water sign lover and shit you may have tried to put this person in rehab or help this person a few times they're going to call you out the blue what's this holiday coming up memorial day yeah some of y'all gonna get a call on Memorial Day from this person. They may come over and get a barbecue plate, chill, and all this other shit. They gonna lie about them having a job and wear all kind of shit. That's for somebody on drugs and shit that's a, someone was in a relationship with. But be aware of this person and keep your motherfucking purse hidden from this person and shit. Because when they go in the bathroom to go pee, they going through drawers and shit. Or going to room to room to room. I see this motherfucker. Somebody got pink bedspread or something. Yeah. Watch your shit. Watch that hoe. Watch that trick. Watch this motherfucker convent. That's all I got to say about this. That has been that. I'm done. I'm insulted. Shit. I really, really fucking am, G. Uh, 
that's been the reading, G, for this damn Venus retrograde, no communication, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, ass reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person, give no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my trip in or not tarot. Uh, please hit like, subscribe, share with your fans. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.